Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I am Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be going over a mind map of heart block. So I've been doing these mind maps to give nurses or students um, a better idea of conditions and just have all the vital information in one place. So that's why I've been doing these. Um, so let's get started. So heart block, what is it? So heart block is when the electrical impulse that controls the beating of the heart muscles are disrupted. The most serious type of heart block is known as complete or third degree. Now the symptoms that you'll see with heart block are shortness of breath, palpitations, dizzy spells and fainting, and nausea. Now let's look at the causes of heart block. Myocarditis, low potassium levels, low levels of magnesium. Some medications can cause heart block. Medications that are used to treat abnormal heart rhythms, high blood pressure medications such as calcium channel blockers and beta blockers, digoxin. Also being very fit is also another common cause. Now, a lot of people wouldn't think that being fit could cause heart block, but it can cause first degree heart block because exercising can enlarge the heart muscles, causing mild disruption of the electrical signals of the heart. Now let's have a peek at how heart block is diagnosed. So first degree, Heart block does not usually require a medical diagnosis. Second degree will be through blood tests or EKGs. Now, third degree, this can either be acquired or congenital. So let's have a peek at congenital first. This is diagnosed through ultrasound during pregnancy and acquired is through blood tests and ECGs. Now, how do we treat or control heart block? Usually treatment is only required if the patient is having a lot of symptoms um, and they'll control this using a pacemaker or a transcutaneous pacing. So I hope this mind map did give you a better idea of heart block and what it is, the signs and symptoms, the causes, and even how it's treated. But that's all I have for this video, guys. I hope you did find it helpful and I hope to catch you in my next one. Bye for now.